Hey guys, I'm so excited to share with you that your AI agents on MyPal can now connect to more than 5,000 web scraping and data automation tools on Epify effortlessly with MCP. Web scraping and data extracting from websites is one of the biggest challenges for AI agents right now because there are millions or even billions of websites on the internet and each has its own quirks and restrictions on AI bot scraping its data. So even though tools like ChatGPT, Claude, or MyPal has built-in web scraping capabilities, sometimes you may run into issues if the websites you want to scrape have very specific mechanisms that our generic web scraping cannot accommodate. Epify solves that with a store of more than 5,000 tools, as you can see on the screen right here. They have a lot of specialized tools for every data automation and web scraping need you have, like social media, lead generation, e-commerce, SEO, jobs, news, real estate, and many more. Just imagine how powerful your AI agents can now be with access to all of these tools. If you're following our YouTube channel, you know that a few months ago, I already uploaded a video that show you how to connect MyPal AI agents to Epify web scrapers using our custom API tool feature. However, this still requires a lot of technical knowledge, uh, which not everybody has. That's why I'm really happy to hear that the Epify team has released their own MCP server. Because with Epify official MCP server, all you need is URL and your AI agents can instantly discover and access the tools you have on Epify to start using them for whatever automation jobs you assign to the AI agent. In this video, let me show you how exactly you can do that and some use cases so you can get inspired and start using Epify MCP server with your AI agents on MyPal. Let's say I'm looking to you an AI agent for analyzing LinkedIn profiles. I would need that AI agent to have the ability to scrape the profile of LinkedIn user based on the URL. Uh, this sounds simple, but it's actually a pretty challenging task previously because LinkedIn has really severe restrictions on web scraping. But I found this uh, AI, uh, this actor on Epify, LinkedIn People Profile Scraper, that does exactly that. All you need to do is to provide a LinkedIn uh, profile URL like this, and this actor will scrape all the information about this person for you. First, let's go back to my MyPal account and start a new AI agent specialized in analyze LinkedIn profile. Let's generate with AI to set the agent up. Okay, I have a help uh, with the help of MyPal. I have set up this LinkedIn profile analyzer that essential that with the with this background and this output format. Uh, feel free to customize it to fit your expectations. Now to make this AI agent work, I would need to connect it to my Epify LinkedIn scraper on. It. Let's go to integrations. Head over to MCP and add a new remote MCP server. Here, let's name it Epify MCP. The server URL can be taken from Epify documentation here. Uh, you can see that this is the HTTPS endpoint for transport or SSE transport. Either links are fine. So let's copy this and paste into MyPal. Now we still need one more thing. Epify MCP server requires that you would need to include an authorization header with your Epify token to authorize your request so that Epify knows these requests coming from you. So let me go back to my pal, add a new header with the key being authorization, the value being bearer with my Epify token here. And let's validate this MCP server. Now, as you can see, the connection has been successful and MyPal has found 16 tools provided by this Epify MCP. Most of these tools are utility tools that help the AI agent interact with Epify, but the only actor that is loaded in this MCP server by default is the Rack web browser here. 
But I would need specifically the LinkedIn profile scraper actor that I have shown you previously. So how can I do that? Well, I would need to put the actor name into the server URL here by adding a carry parameter like this actors and provide the name of the Epify actor I want. In this case, it is this little tag that you can see right here. I can copy that and paste to the server URL. One more thing that you would need to pay attention to is that you need to encode this special character here. Uh, this slash uh, cannot be put into the carry parameter as is. You would need to encode that and a slash encoded would be this simple right here. So make sure to replace a slash simple with these three characters. Let's validate the MCB server one more time. and. Uh, here it is. Uh, you can see that this MCP server, this time it found this Epify actor, LinkedIn People Profile Scraper. That's the correct actor that we want. If you want to add more than one actor to this list, simply add the actor name here by adding a comma and then append the actor name that you want to add. For example, let's say I also want to add an Amazon uh, review scraper too. I can enter uh, the name of the actor here, replace the sl slash with this and try validating the server again. And this time, as you can see, besides the LinkedIn people profile scraper, MyPal also discovered that this server has access to the Amazon review scraper, just like I have specified in this server URL. But for the job of this current agent specifically, uh, this Amazon review scraper is not needed. So let's remove that. So the server is ready. Let's add the server. Okay. Now you have added the MP5 MCP server into your LinkedIn profile analyzer agent. Technically, you can start chatting with this agent and ask it to scrape profiles for you already. But one thing to note is that the way Epify actors work is a, is a bit special. Instead of when you ask uh, this MCP server to do something for you, for example, scraping a LinkedIn profile, instead of return the whole result instantly, uh, it actually create a task and it fulfill the task and save the data in a thing called data set. This is because many of the web scraping and data automation tasks that Epify needs to do is a long running task. Some may take well over like minutes or even hours. So Epify will not, not always be able to return the result immediately for you. Instead, it will just initiate the task and do the task in the background. And when you want to check the full result, you will call um, a tool called get dataset items here. This is just a very simple explanation of how Epify works. If you're interested in learning more, you can check their docs, but you still need to know this because when you let your AI agent use some tools, you would need to explain to the AI agent how the tools actually work, right? Only when the AI agent understand how these tools work, can it effectively use the tools to fulfill your request. In this case, I want the AI agent to use Epify Actor to scrape a LinkedIn profile, and then it will need to use the get dataset items tool to check the full result before providing its analysis. So that's why uh, I think I would need to specify that operations process inside the AI agent background. Let me add another section here called operations process. Here it is. I explained to the AI agent that it would need to follow this three-step process to fulfill the, the job I have given it. First, it needs to use this LinkedIn profile scraper from Epify MCP to scrape the provided LinkedIn profile URL. And then it would need to use the get dataset items to check the full scrape results before providing the analysis. Feel free to customize it any uh, way you want. Now let's save this agent and see how it goes. Let's try asking this agent to analyze my own LinkedIn profile, which is this URL. Let's go. 
the LinkedIn Profile Analyzer first uses the LinkedIn Profile Scraper from Epify to scrape my profile, as you can see here. This is the arguments that it used and this is the raw result. As you can see, Epify doesn't really return the full result, but it actually returned a data set. But this is where it stores the information about my profile that it has scraped. And I, I have instructed the agent to continue with using the tool get data set items to check the full result. And thanks to that, it is able to get the full result like uh, things like my uh, about bio and educate work experience and many more here based on which this is the detail profile analysis based on the script pretty good to make this even more useful you can actually put this app Epify MCP inside a MyPal workflow that automate a whole multi-step process. For example, one of the workflows that are used more frequently on MyPal is a podcast guest researcher workflow that take in some information like profile URLs for a podcast guest and it will do comprehensive research to prepare the introduction scripts, uh, insights, a topic to talk about and even a questionnaire to ask during the podcast, you can actually uh, take in any type of profile URLs, could be websites or uh, social media like LinkedIn, Instagram, Facebook of this guest. And you can let Epify actors to do the magic of scraping the profiles for you in the second step before it passes the research data onto the later steps for analysis. And this is just one of the many capabilities that you can do with Epify. With Epify, you can do way many more things than just scraping LinkedIn profiles, such as scraping uh, Amazon reviews, Instagram posts, YouTube channels, Reddit, Twitter, and many more. So go ahead, check Epify MCP server out with the link provided in the description and try giving the Epi Epify MCP server to your AI agents on MyPal and see how powerful they would be. Happy automating!